Uh, yes, hello everyone. My name is uh, Sven Staus and I would like to briefly introduce uh, the Terashima Lab. So the topic of the Terashima Lab is the development of advanced uh, processes and the physics uh, of these processes. And uh, in the lab, so this is uh, Professor Terashima, the group leader, myself, and we have one fellow uh, who is now in France. And currently there are five uh, graduate students. So specifically, the advanced processes that we are studying are uh, plasma-based processes. So uh, maybe you're not very familiar with pro uh, plasmas, but uh, plasmas uh, have uh, always been very linked with uh, the advancement of uh, mankind. So arguably, the first plasma, uh, human-powered uh, plasma was fire. And now there are many different plasma processes. So for instance, in satellites, rec recently for plasma medicine, for uh, processing, flow control, and also lasers. So the specialty of the Terashima lab is to generate uh, plasmas in very extreme conditions. That means uh, very low temperatures down to a few Kelvin and at very high pressures, at very high pressures and also inside uh, supercritical fluids. And the two main uh, lines of research are the generation of these plasmas in extreme conditions, so here in uh, supercritical fluid, for instance, or at very low temperatures, so-called cryoplasmas, and uh, their characterization. And the goal is uh, to understand these plasmas and to also use them for materials processing, so for the synthesis of uh, carbon nanomaterials, specifically, so such as carbon nanotubes, uh, fullerenes, or what we have been studied is the synthesis of uh, molecular diamond, so-called uh, diamondoids. And the final goal is to use these uh, new materials for uh, new uh, technology, so for use, for instance, in solar panels and uh, also uh, future computing. Thank you very much. <laughs>